Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a problem involving the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law describes the relationship between the volume, pressure, temperature, and the amount of gas, and it's represented by this equation. The equation allows us to solve for an unknown variable if we know the others. The answer is really an approximation of that variable because the ideal gas law assumes that gases behave ideally, which means we pretend some other real life factors are non-existent. Specifically, we ignore the attractive forces between the particles and the volume of the particles. It's okay though because the approximation is really good in most cases. In this equation, the P stands for pressure, usually in units of kilopascals, V stands for volume, usually in units of liters, N stands for the amount in moles, T stands for temperature, usually in units of Kelvin, and R is the ideal gas constant. In this case, it's going to be 8.314 liters times kilopascals over moles times Kelvin. This is a number that makes the equation work, and it has to be included in the calculations. Sometimes 0.0821 is used when the unit for pressure is atmospheres instead of kilopascals. Here's a kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. On average, a human being exhales about 0.047 5 liters of carbon dioxide in a single breath. Assuming that the pressure of the breath is 101 kilopascals and the temperature is 34.0 degrees Celsius, how many moles of carbon dioxide are in a single breath? First, I'll organize the information in the problem. Here's what the question is asking me to solve for the moles of carbon dioxide. It's represented by the symbol N. I'm given these variables. The volume is 0.0475 liters, the pressure is 101 kilopascals and the temperature is 34.0 degrees Celsius. We're using the ideal gas law to solve this problem, PV equals NRT, and we're solving for N. So I'll rearrange the equation by dividing both sides by RT. That changes the equation to N equals PV over RT. When I plug in my variables, I just need to make sure they're in the correct SI units. All of them are good except for temperature. I need to convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin. It's a pretty simple conversion. We just add 273, and you've got the temperature in Kelvin. Now I can plug all the variables that I labeled in the question into the equation. V is 0 0.0475, P is 101, and T is now 307. And then of course R is the constant, 8.314. I'm gonna plug all of this into my calculator. 0 0.0475 times 101, then divide this by 307 times 8.314. I'm gonna round my answer to three digits because each of the given variables has three significant digits. So the answer is 0 0.00188, and the unit is mole because mole is the unit for the amount. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.